guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes 13 and 14 of Sounds of Life. So let's go ahead and get started. Episode 13 in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> this is not going to go well. I have a feeling because of that. No, oh my god. Don't stress about it. No, but she is hurt. His hand. But you're gonna you're gonna be an ass and you're gonna hide it. You're not gonna be able to play with that hand. There's always one. Always one. How in the world can you go and give me the opener now? <laughs> what just happened? Who does that? Most shows do that. We could have skipped the whole opening. We could have just continued in the episode, but it's just like, no. Here's a little problem. Here's an opening. And here's the solution. <laughs> I'm so scared right now. Like, oh my god. This is the last episode of season one going on to the first episode of season two. What if he makes Chica not able to perform? Oh my god. I, I don't want to think about that, but you have to be really rational. That brew. That brew. It's like, oh my god. Like, you know how when you get like a wasp bit or like a, like something, a wasp bump, and you think it's okay? And then 24 hours later, that thing is like, woo, like that. That's what that looks like. Oh, like, oh my God. Boy. No. I don't know how to feel right now. Yeah. Told you. You say that, but that's not nothing. Like, just imagine if he didn't say Hoseki and Hoseki got her. Oh. Mmm. Honestly, it is. Please, don't be reckless and be like, fuck it, I'm gonna perform. Boy, I swear to God. Oh my God.
no. Yeah, he's us. You don't want him to lie to you all the time. I'm just saying. Nobody does except him. You could talk to him and tell him no, he can't perform. But no matter what, he's gonna lash out. And honestly, as much as I wanna see him perform, it's just if you're like, look at that. That's a sign that you really shouldn't go out and play. You are an idiot, like, as much as I love you. Excuse me. <laughs> you are the leader after all. You have to do what you think is best. But see, I feel like Chica, our Chica, our Kuto, he's going to do something stupid, of course. He's going to be like, no, I want to play anyway. And I'm just going to be over here like a dummy. Like, no, you can't. Like, just, oh, God. If you did something to your leg and if you was on the track team, you want to try to go ahead and push yourself and go ahead and run after it? No, you're going to make your arm even more worse. So don't play. <laughs> there you are. You don't want to, though. You don't want to. You have to. I knew it was gonna happen. I had a feeling. <sighs> And he's not going to show his hand. Boy. That's a UQ smile right there. Like, oh my god, my god.
Just please, once you're done, <laughs> just once you're done, please get to the nurse's office and wrap that up, please. Why are y'all that close? I mean, like, my guy. <sighs> Wait, hold on. Shouldn't you guys do, like, a, um, a cheer or something before you go? Okay, never mind. Shouldn't I be scared, too?
Shit. And she's going to think it's her fault. You keep going. Oh my god. Yes, I'm crying. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm sorry. <laughs>
that was fucking beautiful. Like, oh my god, the chills. Even though they messed up at the beginning. Like, oh my god, I can't. Oh, that was an episode. Oh my god. I don't even know what else to really say about that. But like, oh god, just imagine if Chica wasn't in this performance, like how it could have possibly been. Yes, in the beginning, it was bad. It was a little good, but it was bad mostly because of the fact that yes, when one person hurts their hand, it just the whole dynamic of the group is off. But Kota was the one who brought them back on track. Like my baby boy protects him. Oh my god. Uh, I was so nervous because I was thinking like, oh my god, they're not going to be able to do this without him and he's not going to be able to do it without them because they all need each other. They all support each other, one another, no matter what happens, good or bad. But like, oh, I thought it was going to get worse. Like his hand, I thought something else was going to happen while he was playing, which in a way it did. But I was thinking it was going to get a lot worse to the point where like, he was going to scream or, like, yell or something. And then it would have been, like, I don't know. <laughs> it just would have gotten so bad. But, like, it was good. It was really beautiful. Like, oh, God. And the fact that this is the last episode of season one, I can't imagine how, like, when this came out last year, this is, like, what, summer? Last year, spring, summer? And how all of you must have felt when this last episode came out and be like, well, damn, we ain't gonna be able to see the second half until, like, y'all didn't see it until fall, I believe. Ooh, I, I can't even imagine being in that headspace. But, like, I think, it, really, if I had to watch this every single week and getting up to this last episode, I would have been extremely happy. Um, I would have been a little pissed because, in a way, that is somewhat of a cliffhanger, but it still just ties everything together until the second half of the show comes. But still, like, to have to wait a certain amount of months or a certain amount of weeks for the second half of this show to begin and to wonder what could possibly happen next for these groups, for these group of kids, it is exciting and exhilarating. It's still sad at the same time because, you know, when you find a really good TV show, a really good anime, movie, whatever, and essentially if it's into parts and you don't really um, know when it's going to come out, I don't know. Like me, I just, I, I feel like sometimes I'm like, I, I can't wait every single week for something. It, it depends on the show. Cause like, um, there's a show my mom and I are watching together on Hulu and I'm typically one, a person who's like, I like to wait every single week to watch it. But my mother is like, no, I want to wait until the whole dang series finishes. And then I want to watch it because then I don't have to worry about waiting for the following Wednesday or whatever, just to watch something. And I'm like, I, I can't do that sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, I need to know now, but go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 14. Okay, episode 14 in three, two, one, go. Huh. I should be tired at 6.44. But it's not only the fact that, yes, Chica, you know, hurt his hand. Everybody was affected in, this in, like, several different ways. Whether it's nerves, it's stress, it's anything. There was something about each person in this group. It's just that they all felt in the last few months where they had to perform. And I get that.
better fucking club. Oh my god. Now, like, okay, how many number of schools are, like, in this competition? Like, what? 30 to more? I, I, can't, I don't know where I would rank them, honestly. Because, I mean, there's so many different ones. It's so many ones that were so freaking good. Uh He scares me. Of course, I figured. So did I talk about it or no? Oh. Just tell the truth, it'll be better. I mean, honest, but if they knew the truth, you know, it all would have been over the floor of the. A month, probably one to three. It's more than a spring. I mean, hey, you can't have recovery girl from my hero like come in and kiss it and let it feel better in like a couple of seconds. This takes time. <laughs> Oh my god.
she's a different person than what she was in episode one. Okay, let me say something real quick. She reminds me, and this is a show I did two years ago, I believe, um, of the one girl from Welcome to the Ballroom. If you have not seen Welcome to the Ballroom, go watch that show. It's the girl, um, I don't remember what she, what she looks like, but she's like completely, she's in the second half of the show, and she's really, really good, and she's more essentially jealous but of her friend, but just go watch it. Go watch it. Mm -hmm. It's really good. But it's true, though. If y'all don't get together by the end of this damn series, oh. oh, Yes, they're from Elizabeth. Oh, it's you! Oh my god! So twenty-five. I want them to get a turkey so bad, but I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Sweet meal, you might be worse than L, and I had mixed feelings about L and Dana. Oh my god, I, I can't even imagine, like, who's gonna be the top seven. Ugh. 
Excuse me? Son, shut up. But see, I'm confused on them. I thought they would have gotten an award. Like, something is not right. I have a lot of questions. Because of this, this is going to make her so depressed. Like, even though Kazus is crying right now, I just think there's going to be points in time where we're not really going to see her in every single freaking episode. But the next time we see Kazusa, I think she's still going to be not over it. And it's heartbreaking. It may take her a little while.
it's okay. Just don't be so hard on yourself. You still did good. It wasn't your best, but you still did good. They're not, yeah, coming to me. Right, I mean, seriously, be proud about that. But it was still good. I don't know what to say. I mean, this episode really honestly spoke for itself. It was a good episode. I am sad still that they didn't get to win. It is sad, but usually sometimes that first performance and that first competition as a group together, mostly like if I'm talking about Glee in a way, um, you usually lose the first time. And then when nationals, whatever comes up, and you're finally, you know, redeeming yourself and everything that happened beforehand. In the end, usually, yeah, you do end up taking that first place trophy. But, oh my god, like, so much happened in this episode. This was one of those episodes, I mean, there were some heartbreaking moments, like, honestly, to the point where I was, like, about to tear up again. But, oh, this is a big, old, old but having their teacher, a really other coach, taught to them, it built it, it builds up their confidence again. Yes, they're all frustrated. They all cried. Let it out because it's the best thing that you have to do sometimes is to either cry or get angry or sad or whatever. And shout out to the world and say, this is how I currently feel right now. And I have the right to feel this way. And then the following day, when you go back to school, you just make it better. That's not a kiss kiss, that's just a head kiss, but it, it, it counts. It counts. <laughs> it counts. Because, oh my god, like, because the sexual tension between Hosuki and Kuro, it's. It's over the wall annoying, like, but annoying in a good way, not a bad way. And it's just like, oh my god, every single time you see them together and they're bickering or something, you're just like, oh my god, like, 
why haven't they done something that and you're just looking at them like oh my god you just want to push them into a closet together and be like go just now like i need this right here right now let's go because i mean oof like big behind oof it's just it's that sexual chemistry between them that chemistry that you have with someone and you just know that they're just meant to be together and you're just like come on damn it like just Go and it's just like oh my god it's just oh oh but if, if it's just a head kiss and then we get to see more developing situations with them throughout the series until we get to the last two episodes and then they find like us that'll be fine if it's like a head kiss and we never talk about this ish again your girl is gonna be highly upset but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes 13 and 14 of sounds of life if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the Marshall squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for patreons and next tuesday for everybody else for episodes 15 and 16 bye guys